Hello hey guys, it's Jim. Um, the weather's beautiful today, so I'm out and about. Thought I'd do a bit of a charity shop session, but I'm going to do a lot today. I'm going to have a drive around, spend a few hours out this morning seeing what we can find. I'm getting a bit sick of clothing. Um, I've got so much clothing at the moment on, it's madness. So I'm hoping to find some stuff that isn't clothing, but I'll take it if it's all I can get, let's be fair. Um, so I'm going to do uh, five or six different stops. Go around the charity shops at each place of shop, see if I can find stuff. Um, I've got the old GoPro with me today. Um, so that's all clipped in. So we'll hopefully get some footage going around. Um, and then uh, we'll see what we get at the end. Hopefully we'll do okay today. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we get on. Right, second stop done. Got a couple of t-shirts. Um, I didn't stop after the first one, but I had one of them. Right place, right time. Incredibly, weirdly, amazing um, moments. I'm walking down the high street. I've, I've got a few things from the charity shops and toys and stuff. The bloke in front of me um, drops a box. And I'm like, I know what that box is. Uh, I've been looking at one of them, thinking of getting one. Um, so I said to him, oh, don't drop that, mate. It's expensive. And he says, oh, yeah, I know. I'm trying to sell it at Cash Converts and CX, but they won't give me what they want. I'm like, hello. What is it? Knowing what it is. And what it is, is this. It's a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Uh, and this is the full vlogger kit. Um, so you get a Gorillapod, um, as you can see, Gorillapod tripod, the camera, a 32 gig memory card. And also he said he's got in there a case, a brand new case and a 128 gig memory card. So I'm like, right, okay, how much are you getting for that? And it, how much you want in sorry he says well they're 450 now this is brand new never been used um i said right okay i'm interested he says well they've just offered me 200 at cash converters but i want three i said oh you've just dropped it mate um i'll give you 250 and he said no 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 it's, it's got to be three because it's brand new never been used so i said okay let, let me have a look you know it's one of them things i'm interested in so he stops and gets it out there we go, we've got the Joby uh, Gorilla Pod there, brand new, never used. We've got the um, charger, etc., still in the bag. We've got 32 gigabyte SD card still sealed. We've got the 128 gig memory card that hasn't been used. And then, obviously, the most important thing with the instructions and stuff, and I'm dropping the box the camera. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, the ultimate, ultimate in vlogging cameras. Uh, I've been looking, thinking of getting one, and then this guy drops this one right in front of me. It is absolutely minty mint mint. These are clean, it's got a bit of dust on it, but uh, what a camera, what a moment. So I bought it, 300 quid. I could probably flip it on eBay and get about 350 with the camera and you know, well, 350 for the camera, then the Gorilla Pod, maybe another 25 or something, but I'm not gonna do that because I want a camera. And now I've got one. So weird moment, right place, right time. Got myself a camera. Right, let's crack on with some chassis. No, this 
There's a few things in the little house that I kind of leave it out. Right, another load done. Oh, them Nikes. Three pairs of Nikes, Air Force Ones and two pairs of Air Max. Absolutely nailed. Completely and utterly worn. £10 each, just not worth it, unfortunately. And these, can they be possibly be real? Balenciagas. I've obviously got to do a lot of checking on these. But... What do we reckon? I, oh, they can't be real, can they? Can't find brand new Balenciagas in a charity shop for six ninety nine, can you? Can you? I've got to do some checking on these. We'll do that when we get home and have a look. Right, onward. Ever onward. Next load. There we go then. Chazza, sorry. No more footage from the GoPro. The SD card filled up because I forgot to delete past stuff which I should have deleted. Fail on my behalf. Also, I'm not getting the angles right on the GoPro. Um, I've got uh, this adjustable battery um, backpack mount and I can't get it in the right position. I would do need some practice on it. Maybe I should put it on um, wide angle lens. Maybe that will help. I'll keep trying, I'll keep experimenting, it's for fun, that's why I do it, let's keep going. You may also notice I look amazing on this video, that's because I'm using the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Unbelievable find, I've wanted one of these forever. Now I've got one, I'm testing it out here, I hope that the quality shows through. I normally do um, videos like this when I'm talking to the camera on my iPhone. Um, on the front camera as well, so I can see myself, I don't know why. So obviously the quality is probably not as good. But now on this it should be, and you should see every crevice and bit of sandwich in my beard and everything. I'm redoing this, I did do it on the iPhone, but for some reason I cannot get it to come through onto my PC. So I'm doing it again. Um, so I did a lot of charity shops. So I need to keep remembering to look at the lens, not the screen. Terrible vlogger. Terrible vlogger. Um, yeah, did about 30, 35 maybe charity shops. Lots and lots of them. Uh, picked up about 25 things. Um, there is some clothing. Um, although I said at the start, obviously I've got a lot of clothing. You can probably see piles of it piled up behind me here. I've got an awful lot of clothing in stock at the moment and a lot listed and a lot to list um, but if I see it in a charity shop and I think I'm going to make money I can't I can't leave it there that's uh, that's no can't do that so there is clothing there is also a mixture of other things some 
proper bangers in this stuff, I've got to say. Some really, really good pickups. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so I've noted down, I've gone through eBay, checked all the prices. Obviously, I have a knowledge of how much stuff's worth, which is why I pick it up. But I do still make fails. And I've made fails here, you will see. I've made two absolute mess-ups that I shouldn't have touched. One that I thought would be worth money, but actually isn't. And the other one that's just about going to break even on. Um, but then there are some stuff I'm going to make some serious money on. Um, I'll go through the figures at the end. Um, but I'll quickly go through stuff um, as I find it. So I'll go through the clothing first. Get that out of the way. Get it done. Um, I found this nice Nike Air Max. I think it's vintage. It looks vintage -y. Uh, XL long sleeve t-shirt. I thought it was a base layer um, at first. I still think that. I am not sure. Need to do some checking. Um, but it's Nike Air Max. It's got the nice detail around the uh, neck there. And then it's also got Nike Air Max down the sleeve. Um, paid £5 for it. I'll list that between 15 and 20. Expect nearer the £15 mark. Fails, here's the first of the day. This is a Le Shark Harrington in maroon. I thought this would go really, really well. Um, it's not a vintagey one, it's a more modern one. 6 99 paid, very shocked, probably only about a tenner. So after fees, after postage, I may break even on it. I thought that was gonna be worth about 25 quid, but it wasn't. A uh, nice polo shirt, this is a golf one and it's by a company called Golf Junkie. And that comes out okay. I paid £2 for it, it's a medium, it's really nice. Um, they make some really good quality stuff. Um, I say it paid £2, I've got it on the list down here. I'm uh, going to list that for £15 to £18. Not bad. Uh, football, a West Bromwich Albion t-shirt. Um, that was also £2, I'll list that between 10 probably start at 12 95 make them down slightly, um, depends on offers, etc. One thing I'm trying to get a lot more uh, into, not um, a lot more knowledge on uh, and sell a lot more of, is ladies' jeans. Um, now there's obviously a lot of different um, jeans out there, I've done some checking on eBay solds, but I've tried to go for the ones that price just that bit higher so we can just get a bit of a better return. Um, you can pick up loads and loads of ladies jeans in charity shops but a lot of them are only worth 10 to 15 and you're paying a fiver. So I'm trying to get the stuff that's like 25 quid plus. And I found two pairs today. First we've got these, these are diesel. Now with diesel, to find out what model it is, sometimes it has a, a badge on the inner seam there that says, if not, on the labels, so the labels, you've got the, the little Indian there that says the size of the jeans, and you've got the care label. Now normally on the back of the care label, there's the information that you want, and it says mod, which is model, and these are 0x, these are size 26, think that's a six to an eight in the UK. Um, paid up for them, six ninety nine, but they're gonna be 25 pound all day long. So I'm growing my knowledge on jeans, because it's something you can get a lot of. Another pair that I found are these. These are Ralph Lauren Polo, and these are, says somewhere in here, Tomkins Skinny. They are definitely genuine, I've checked all the tags, etc. They are definitely 100% right. These are a 27, so same again, probably about a size 8. These were £4. These will go for around 30 Probably start them at 35 because they are very, very good. Uh, three more bits of clothing. Got these Puma golf shorts. Um, these are nice, actually. I wish they were as big, big enough for me, but they are not. Uh, two pounds, easy 15 quid. Now's the sort of time of year to be selling something like that. It's coming into summer, golfers like to uh, get their legs out in the summer, so hopefully we'll make some money on that. Um, then we've got the big file of the day. West Brom again, this is a coat, Umbro coat, 
size small paid a tenner oh dear me Jim what are you doing it's worth a tenner so a fail nice t-shirt here again Nike this is Nike Air Harachi it is a size large and it was 3 99 really really nice love that 15 quid no problem last bit of clothing not heard of the brand gold tri mountain and it's like a, 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 a jacket wind cheatery rain jacket wouldn't normally pick these up but what attracted me to it was that that is a f-35 lightning which is the ref's newest jet they are american built not here and therefore uh, short takeoff and landing so kind of a replacement for the good old harriers um there's nothing like that on ebay nothing like it um i'm going to start at 50 quid i'm going to see what we can do um there's a big following for air for airplanes obviously people going to air shows etc perfect for that got the f-35 on there don't see why not 50 quid how much was it it was six pounds so a pretty good flip there um that is it for clothing there is some shoes though i'll do those was it last video or the one before I picked up a Dunlop golf polo shirt because it reminded me of trainers? Well, these are the trainers. Well, these are very similar to the trainers anyway. These are modern remakes. They're made by the Green Flash Shoe Company, so they're not original Dunlop Green Flashes, but they are absolutely brilliant condition. Men's size 10. They were four quid, and I'm going to sell them for 25. Very nice. If they were the original... Um, Dunlops, I think they'd probably be even worth even more um, because most sizes probably there are kids because kids used to wear them when they played PE at school, play PE when they did PE at school. Um, other shoes that we've picked up, these rather nice hotter Gore-Tex, I don't know if that come up, hotter Gore-Tex walking shoes in red, they're a size five and a half. They were 4 99 and I was shocked when I checked them. 40 quid. Bosh. That'll do. Same shop. I found these. Men's walking shoes. Again, Gore-Tex. I could swear blind it said 4 99 on the price tag. But it doesn't. It says, is that going to come up? It's not. It says 14 99 Lower is the brand. Never heard of it. Um, I thought when she said they're 15, I thought, well, shall I take them? I think they're going to be worth 25. I thought, oh, go on. We'll have them. But no, they're not worth 25. Um, I'm going to list them for 70, maybe 79.99. So definitely a brand for me to look out for in the future, lower. Obviously, anything Gore-Tex is going to be worth some money. These were in really good condition, so that's why I thought I'd go for them. But yeah, 70 to 80 quid for them. Nice. Glad I took them. The other shoes that I picked up, that you've seen on the video, the Balenciagas. Uh, I've checked them and I think they're real. Uh, I've checked them on like the Balenciaga website. I think these are called Free Runner or, or something like that. I do need to do a lot more research on them, but they they look they look like they are the actual trainers. If they are seven pound into seventy, easy. If they're not, well, I, I, I'm not going to sell them. Obviously, you can't sell fake goods. Um, but I think they're real. I need to do some thorough checking. But from my provisional looks, they look cool. Like they might be all right. So we'll see. If not, the wife's got some new shoes. That's it for clothing and footwear. Um, just looking around me, see what's next. We've got, I researched this in the shop because I've never seen it before. It's a game called Backfire. We have to fire a ball between two um, things through a hoop. Um, I checked it in the shop. I paid four pounds for it, um, and that's twenty-five quid all day long. Um, the next board game I bought was this one, and I paid. I paid twenty quid. Twenty quid. Twenty quid for a board game in a charity shop. But I checked it, and I'm pleased I did. 
Continue, it's the original packaging sleeve. That's always a good start. And it is lie detector. This is made by Mattel in 1960. I've checked it all, it's all there. I've checked the actual um, lie detector machine and it works. It doesn't use batteries, I don't actually know how it works, but it works. Um, there are some of these on eBay, but there's nothing in this condition. This is absolutely mint for a 1960 game. Um, I'm gonna, I expect, I'm expecting to get 50 quid for it, but I'm gonna start higher. I might start it at 79.99, purely because of the condition. It's in great condition. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try 79.99, if not 50. Don't be afraid to pay up for stuff if it's quality, because you will make money. Um, in that same shop, I also got this Linguaphone set. Never had one of those before, but I thought that's gotta be worth something, and it was two quid. So I picked it up. It is the complete, uh, what is it, Greek. Where is it? So the complete Greek um, set. It is on cassette, which does hurt the price slightly. Obviously, I think you can get them on CD and they're probably worth a little bit more. But even so, £2 into 40 I will take that. Very nice. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? That's all stuff previous. Ah, yes. Wheels. These are hubcaps. Uh, they're brand new. They're genuine um, Vauxhall, as you can see on the badges, and they are for a Vivaro van. And there's four of them, brand spanking new, and I paid $9.99. On eBay, a single hubcap is $23.95. Um, for the set of four, you don't get as much. So you don't get $23.95 times four. Well, that'd be just under over 90 quid. I'd probably get 80. But when you take into postage into account, I mean, that probably weighs one and a half kilos. So you're sending Hermes um, up to two kilo, four pound, I don't say four pound. Each individual one would obviously be three pound each. So when you take that into account, um, I'm probably better off selling them as a set of four for 80 quid. So tenner into 80, brand new hubcaps. Lovely, lovely. The last thing here, this is heavy. Oh goodness, it's heavy. I've had my eye on these for a while. They've been in the charity shop probably for a year. Um, these are wheels for a um, Mercedes Vito uh, van. Um, when I saw them, I thought, oh, lovely, because I've got a VW T4 and these fit and they look really, really cool. Um, there is only two. But when I first saw them, they were $59.99 a wheel. They then reduced them to $29.99 a wheel. And I thought, I could get them, they look all right. No, there's only two, I'm not gonna bother. But they reduced them in the sale, $14.99 for both. So that's £7.50 a wheel. Brand spanking new, Mercedes. These will sell for between 60 to 70 pound a wheel. So a minimum of 120 quid up to about 140. Obviously they're gonna cost a bit to post. They weigh, God, tons. But they'll probably go UPS or parcel force. We'll see. I think that's everything I picked up. No, a couple of other little bits. Another fail, Rubik's Cube Jigsaw. It is sealed inside, so that will help, but I paid two pound for it. Probably gonna get a fiver. And then this nice little Cadbury World vintage probably can't see that but it's Cadbury world it's like kind of the 80s sort of um, emblem um, that was 50 pence and one of them are sold for 12 pounds on eBay so not too bad trying to get into my glassware as well as I've said in the past very nice I think that's it for what we picked up yesterday I'm gonna quick look around there's so much stuff around me it's, it's, it's crazy one more thing uh, yeah Paw Patrol fire engine, two of them exactly the same. This one, another one that's in the car, £4.50 each. These are clean, 15 quid. 
easy money. So, in total, I spent, I did a lot of charity shops. I spent five hours, I think, um, walking around them. Um, yeah, and I spent 100 and 41 pounds a lot of money a lot of money plus obviously this camera 300 quid um i've tidied up everything on my list here and selling price now that's the that's the price that i plan to list stuff for well i may actually go a bit higher on some of them but let's say this is the price i'm going to go for selling price 776 pounds plus the camera would be another three fifty four hundred if i wanted to sell it but i don't i want to keep it so take off the camera ignore that completely 141 pounds spent 776 postman is just arriving probably bringing ebay returns um yeah <laughs> take off um fees 15 percent take off postage there's my ring doorbell um take off fees 15 percent take off postage roughly four quid an item more obviously for the heavy stuff let's say 600 quid after fees and postage uh take off your 140 that takes it down to 460 pounds so let's say 450 pounds profit from a day's work i'll take that i will take that now obviously charity shopping is not an assured um, way of making money um I can't go again today. They won't have restocked enough stock for me to, to 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 make that sort of money. Probably have to go maybe once a week to get let the stock come in. But then you never know. You can go daily, but I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I could go further afield today and do some more charity shops and keep that going. So you you can make money from doing this. You can make a living from doing it. But you have to put time in and you have to do a lot of mileage to do it. So adding in car boot sales, buying at auctions, buying on eBay, RA, anything else that you know that I do to make money. This is how it's my job. This is how I manage to sit here instead of sitting in an office or sitting in a shop or whatever. This is how I pay my bills. So it can be done as you can see but you've got to be right place right time a lot of the time with charity shops um, and today I've done okay. Um, tomorrow I might go um, or next week I might go and get absolutely nothing It's never guaranteed in fact I'll do a video um, every time I go uh, because I've had so many where I've done an intro I've done some stuff going around the shops got home and thought oh, you know I've bought two things there's just no point so I've scrapped it all but I think maybe I should do them because it gives people an actual idea of what it's like it is not like this every day I don't make 400 pound from every trip out to the charity shops a lot of the time as I say I get nothing so don't rely on it um, it's not you know a firm uh, source of income but when you've got other things behind you doing that as well that are always going at the same time that's how you can make it a success so there we go guys I don't know I've been doing this what 21 minutes blimey if anybody is left thank you I appreciate it um, so I'm gonna end it there I hope the camera works all right. Please like, subscribe, etc., etc. Um, and I'll see you on the next one very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.